Hey, Evan Teeting, welcome back to the channel. I'm Alberto, and this is a big Monday edition. Big Monday edition because this is the week players start to trickle back for training session and preseason begins today. And we have a big week in terms of we're going to have a Pogba day. We're going to have a Di Maria day during this week. And it's going to be pivotal in the Matias de Lick situation. And I'm going to tell you why. And we're going to get into all that right now. All right, Juventini, we're going to kick this off by saying happy 4th of July to our American friends, okay? Enjoy it, but do so safely, all right? Now let's get into the Juve news. We're going to kick it off with Paolo Bianco. Paolo Bianco, defender who played for Cagliari under Max Allegri and spent time in De Zerbi's coaching staff at Sassuolo, has joined Juventus as an assistant, okay? So he is going to be finalizing that deal within a couple hours from me recording this video. So look for Paolo Bianco to be announced as one of the new assistants at Juventus, okay? In terms of the medical staff, we wait to see if Juventus is making wholesale changes there. We had Mirko Di Natale live on the show yesterday. If you didn't get a chance to check it out, make sure you check that video out because it is fantastic and he gave us a lot of insight into this Mercado. I'm going to touch on some of that as we get into it right now. So Empoli. Empoli is close to De Vinter. They are the closest of all the clubs so far on landing De Vinter on a loan. So look for that one to be get finalized within the next little bit. Now Arnautovic. Arnautovic remains top of the list for Juventus in terms of a vice to Vlaovic. Okay, Bologna asking for 15 million euros and Juventus is humming and hawing about it. And the reason they are... It's very much like I've been saying for about a month and a half, and we got a confirmation of this from Mirko Di Natale yesterday, that it is going to be a domino effect Mercado for Juventus. They have an 80 million roughly transfer budget currently. They haven't touched it with the Pogba Di Maria moves, which is fantastic. Cambiaso looks to be a very, very cheap deal as well. So you technically have the, your full 80 million transfer budget. The kickers are going to be... If you spend 15 on Kostic, 15 on Arnautovic, are there going to be any other big signings for Juventus? Of course, Zaniolo. Zaniolo remains a top priority for Juventus. Mirko Di Natale confirmed this yesterday. 50 to 60 million for Zaniolo pretty much wraps up your transfer budget if you bring in Kostic and Arnautovic as well. But the kicker is that loan with obligation to buy for Juventus and Roma apparently open to that loan. And then... The big, big kicker is going to be what happens with the lick. And this week is going to be pivotal as Chelsea set to put in an onslaught apparently for the Dutch defender. This would give Juventus the freedom to make that move for Zaniolo and also find a replacement for the center back. Okay, so this is going to be big, big week for Juventus and finding out what happens there in the Delict saga. Now, Mirko Di Natale, what did he have to say for Delict? Make sure you go watch that video, but I'll help you out here, okay? So he basically said Juve's priority is to keep delict and renew. However, if they can't find a renewal, this is the summer to sell and sell high. So there you have it. That's the latest on that front. And last but certainly not least, you have players trickling in for training camp starting today. And by the end of the week, by Sunday, all the current players of Juve's roster are going to be there at Contenasa. And look for this week, a Pogba day and a Di Maria day as we get close to those announcements. All right. So that's your news video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy 4th of July. And don't forget, drop your comments, thoughts, opinions on all the news you heard today. And if you haven't, go watch that live from yesterday with Mirko. Fino alla fina. Forza Juve. We'll talk tomorrow. Ciao tutti.